Oh my f you. <sighs> What's going on guys and welcome to Late Night with Royal where I play spooky games late at night because I like to torture myself. So I'm not a spooky game player usually, but I thought I would check out this new game called Layers of Fear. It's currently in early access. There's a lot of YouTubers that have played it already. And I wanted to start playing some more scary games in preparation of some really cool scary games coming out very, very soon. So leave a like if you enjoy the video and if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in game. Every portrait that is painted without feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. Okay. This game already right off the bat is beautiful. So I assume this is going to be a puzzle game of sorts. Got some uh, baby shoes. Looks like a, a muzzle for a dog. What else is in this room? Looks like we're opening doors. We got a painting of a dead lady and a couple children watching it. <sighs> okay, so I'm not a scary game player. So this is really going to get to a point where I'm scared as fuck. Oh, we can't leave. That seems like the front door. It seems to want us to go this way. Something just broke in the other room. Seems like a dog collar. I like doges. Hello? Hello? I don't like squeaky doors. Stop being so fucking squeaky. Come on. Open, please. All the way. Hello. I can't jump. Alright, I'm gonna cook some dinner. The fuck was that? Open another random door. Can I crouch? I can zoom in. Doesn't seem like I can crouch. Okay, when does it get spooky? Because I'm already spooked. I'm already spooked and it's not even spooky yet, damn it. Hello? 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 What is that noise? I do like the, the calming piano. It actually helps me not be as scared. Alright, but the, the random singing needs to stop. Spooky people in the sky. Please stop. Please? Oh god, we're opening another door. Hmm, nothing in here. Do I have a flashlight? Can I turn on the light? Shut the fuck up! What is this? It's like a voodoo fucking doll. I ain't, I ain't a fan of no voodoo shit, man. I ain't a fan of no voodoo shit. Alright, let's, let's figure out where we're supposed to go. There's nothing to like inspect in this room, and this is where I heard the glass break. Oh. Ooh, it's like a wine bottle or something that broke. Oh, I can inspect this. Point red joke green air fresheners, 50 pox, apples. It seems like it's a a grocery list of some sort. Is it getting darker in here? I don't I don't like darkness. Please stop. I need a flashlight or something. Is that that's just lightning, okay. What is this? An artist triumph. Sitched out gallery opening wow critics. So it must be this is an artist house. So it seems like it's gonna be like a cabinet opener type of game. We got some bourbon. Mmm, bourbon. That's not fucking creepy at all. Nope. Not at all. Okay. I didn't touch the workshop. Not like you asked. Or just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care... So... If you care for lunch... For that room... I really suck at reading cursive. You should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. Oh, if you love... 
I don't know, something about the room. Pay attention to where the keys are. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. It just, it was addressed, sir. Door's locked, so I guess we gotta find a key. And I brought, he said he brought him back to the office. So we're just gonna open all these drawers and see if we can find more stuff to figure out the story. Let's close them now. Open these cabinets. I was told this gets spookier as time goes on. It's not spooky the whole time. But I'll be spooked the whole time anyway. I hope that you guys can see on YouTube. I might actually turn up the gamma just a little bit for you guys. It's a random clock. Can't even see in that corner. I was told that this is the brightness that I should play at. Oh, there's a light on the wall. Jesus, thank God. All right, so we're filling up the sink. Let's wash our hands. Let's let's wash the scariness off of us. What was that? So this is what you flush with, I assume. I close the cover that way. Uh, nobody sits on it on accident. Got some rat poison. We want to commit suicide at any point. I mean, we can now. Hello? Nothing. Got another light over there. Thank gosh, they have the lights in this house. Usually spooky games, they have the lights turn off and they remain off. Got some perfume. So there must have been a woman living here at some point. Prosthetics. Ooh. Below knee prosthetics. I can't see my own below knees, so... Can't say if it's me or not. Clicking clocks are actually the scariest things ever. I don't know why. Okay, we're getting into the creepy painting area. We're heading upstairs. Hello? Chinese food delivery? As you're delivering pizza to this fucking place. Got a nice little piano right here. Some, uh, things to play. Motherfucker! Okay. I'm... We're good. We're good. That made me jump. Hello? The ladder fell. I have the biggest- I have so much fucking goosebumps right now. Oh god. Oh god. What is happening? Why did I play this? Yo, shut the fuck up! Turn on the lights. I feel much better with lights on. Is there more lights? Fuck you, stupid, stupid, stupid. Thank you. Anything in here? Looks like a picture. A true story. The picture of Dorian Gray. That's the quote that we read at the beginning. That's the quote. Hello? This looks like a fucking fake bookshelf that you would open up and walk through. Oh, that's not creepy at all. No, no, I'd say it's pretty, uh, normal. Mm -hmm. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now, I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake, I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be so mething, you can draw it in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I absolutely regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Papyrus Publishing. Okay, so this guy's painting creepy pictures when he shouldn't be painting creepy fucking pictures. That's always a good thing. All right. Yeah, okay, yeah, I definitely... Mm, yeah, no, I would not... Mm, no. I definitely would not add those into a children's story. That would be... Mm, that would... You, you probably get the, the book revoked a little bit there. I'd say so myself. Okay, if I read a freaking children's book with that, I would be like, nope, nope, burn it with fire. Holy cross that shit. Fucking... 
throw fucking holy water at that. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Piano's already fucked up. I already broke it. Let's go into this spooky scary room, because every fucking room in this game is spooky scary. You gotta find some happy stuff. I love, I love 20s music. Somebody's gonna be like, that's 30 music, Royal. Got a nice ring. Again, there must have been a girl living here. Well, I like the grand opening in flames. Ooh, so somebody died from a fire. That's good to know. Ooh, punched mirror. That's even spookier. That guy has bad luck because he broke a mirror. These are gauze. Somebody didn't make their bed. That's when you know something went down, is when somebody didn't make their bed. Hello? Doesn't seem like there's really much in this room at all. Some very neat clothes. Again, we know a female lived here. We know the female's no longer here. This is the men's closet. Oh my fuck you! So, just alcohol, where the girls' clothes you would expect to be. So, I'm sensing a drink like fucking crazy after wife died scenario going on here. <sighs> Alright, let's head into the, uh, the spooky, scary room. I really don't want to, but here we go. So thank you guys for stopping by the first episode of Late Night with Royal Plays Layers of Fear. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more, and also if you want to send me fan art or overlay in the beginning of the video, similar to how other YouTubers do it. I think that would be really cool for you guys to do. So, I'll see you guys in the next one if you'd like another one. Adios.